Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Longevity. Have you ever wondered if that morning cup of coffee is doing more than just waking you up? What if I told you it could be shaping your health in ways you never imagined? In 2023, researchers from the Karolinska Institute in Sweden and teams from the University of Bristol and Imperial College London embarked on a journey to uncover how our caffeine fix my influence our health. By analyzing genetic markers, they've begun to unravel the connection between caffeine, our body fat, and the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The findings? Absolutely eye-opening. At the heart of their discovery are two genes, CYP1A2 and AHR, which determine how fast we metabolize caffeine. This can lead to very levels of caffeine in our blood, influencing our BMI and ultimately our diabetes risk. It's like having a personal health roadmap embedded in our DNA. Now, let's dive deeper into how caffeine does its remarkable work, particularly through the processes of thermogenesis and the activation of brown fat. Imagine caffeine as a natural metabolic booster shot giving your body's calorie burning capabilities a significant uplift. Thermogenesis is your body's way of producing heat, a vital process that helps burn calories. It's like turning up the thermostat, but instead of heating up your home, you're heating up your body from the inside, burning more energy in the process. Caffeine stimulates the thermal effect, boosting your body's natural furnace to work harder. Now, onto brown fat, a special type of fat that acts more like a muscle when it comes to calories. Unlike white fat, that's the fat around your stomach, which stores energy, brown fat burns calories to produce heat. Think of it as your body's internal heater. When caffeine activates brown fat, it's like stoking the fire, increasing your body's energy expenditure and helping to reduce body fat. This dual action of boosting thermogenesis and activating brown fat at the same time is a cornerstone of caffeine's impact on our health. By understanding the role of thermogenesis, our body's natural way of burning calories to heat production and unique function of brown fat and energy expenditure, we can appreciate how caffeine helps manage weight and improve metabolic health. So every time you enjoy that cup of coffee, Remember, it's not just giving you a wake-up jolt. It's engaging with your body's inner workings, activating thermogenesis, and turning up the activity of brown fat, all contributing to a healthier, more vibrant you. Caffeine's magic doesn't stop there. It can increase our metabolic rate, making us burn calories faster, and even help us feel fuller, reducing our overall energy intake. In addition, genetics do play a role in how we respond to caffeine, affecting our coffee and tea drinking habits and potentially protecting us against type 2 diabetes. Now, let's take a moment to compare what this 2023 study has uncovered with findings from pre-review research on coffee, caffeine, and health. Historically, the link between caffeine levels in the blood and the risk of type 2 diabetes hadn't been deeply explored. Observational studies have consistently found an inverse relationship between coffee consumption and diabetes risk. In fact, a comprehensive dose-response meta-analysis revealed that for each cup of caffeinated coffee consumed daily, which packs about 70 to 150 milligrams of caffeine, the risk of type 2 diabetes drops by 7%. Even decaffeinated coffee showed a notable benefit with a 6% risk reduction per cup. This 2023 study sheds new light on these findings. Through Mendelian randomization, it suggests that caffeine itself might explain the protective effect against diabetes. Yet, it's intriguing to note that prior analysis using genetic data didn't find a clear link between coffee consumption and the risk of diabetes. One fascinating aspect of this discrepancy lies in genetics. The study focused on genetic variations affecting caffeine metabolism, which strangely are associated with lower coffee and caffeine consumption. This nuanced understanding challenges and complements previous findings. When it comes to heart health, the story gets even more complex. While moderate coffee consumption has been linked 
to lower risk of heart disease and stroke in observational studies, Mendelian randomization studies have struggled to find significant associations. This 2023 study, with its precise focus on plasma caffeine concentrations and sophisticated genetic analysis, offers new insights while also acknowledging the challenges of detecting significant associations due to the intricate nature of our bodies and the many factors influence our health. Importantly, this research underscores the strong genetic link between body mass index, BMI, and diabetes risk, highlighting a potentially greater impact than previously understood. It's a reminder of the delicate balance between our genetic makeup, lifestyle choices, and health outcomes. So as we sift through the data and compare new findings with old, it becomes clear that the story of coffee and health is continuously evolving. Each cup of coffee we enjoy is part of a larger intricate puzzle of genetics, metabolism, and wellness. Before you rush to refill your cup of coffee, remember, balance is key. While caffeine has its perks, understanding its complex effects help us make informed decisions that align with our personal health goals. So the next time you savor a cup of coffee, remember, it's not just a caffeine boost, it's the step towards better health. How does your coffee habit fit, fit into your health journey? Let me know. If you found this insight intriguing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more health and longevity wisdom. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again in my next video very soon. I feel ah, fantastic. Have a great day, and see you in my next video.